All right. So my goal is to attach um, a 12 volt battery to a female USB output port. Now that would put 12 volts through USB, which can't be done, it's too high. USB is supposed to be 5 volts. So I'm going to run it through a 5 volt regulator on the way to the female. So this way, it's going to go from the 12 volt lead acid battery, which is the battery that I'll be giving to my father-in-law during our kayaking trip. It will run from that battery to a USB, or no, it will run from the, fi the 12 volt lead acid battery through a 5 volt linear regulator converting 12 volts down to 5 volts 1.5 amps and then it will go to a female USB port. Now that female USB port will have access then to, tw to 5 volts 1.5 amps which is standard USB and then I'll be able to plug into that an evaporative air cooler air conditioner. So they'll be running an evaporative air cooler air conditioner off of the car battery. And this is the easiest way to do it with materials I have on hand as opposed to buying a cigarette lighter adapter and then running wire from that to the battery and then from the cigarette lighter adapter converting with the AC-DC inverter um, to AC and then plugging an extension cord into that and then plugging the evaporative air cooler into that extension cord. That that to me is harder than this. So I think this way is better. I really need to be really long to wrap around every terminal. Positive. Positive. This one, negative. Okay. So just one battery. Then, you need to bring it through by the regulator. See, so, here's the second piece. Uh, Alright, the minus has a shared ground to the 5 volt regulator. So we will just do that. Let me get out the 5 volt regulator then. Okay. Uh, we gotta look up the 5 volt regulator to see the wiring. Twelve volts comes in the leftmost pin, looks like. Ok. 
Hammond grounds the center. Alright, so we want the common ground center then. Here's our regulator. And we labeled this minus. This will go to the batteries minus. That's the ground. We'll put that through the center pin of the regulator. That's what they wanted. Okay, we're going to want to solder this now. I forgot to put the flux on. Without the flux, nothing happens. Yeah, flux is my secret ingredient, man. It's incredible what difference it makes. Okay. Kind of burn myself, but not anything crazy. Uh, so now we've got the ground pin connected. And then uh, left side will be our 12 volt supply line, which is him. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and prep that then. Okay. I think I will use helping hands here.
Okay. So we got our minus, we got our plus. And now we just need uh this guy to continue through. He will go on to here. Okay. Alright, and that completes it. Um, let's let that cool off a little bit. The next step, I guess, would be to insulate these a little bit. Um, so let me get some insulative stuff. I'm sorry. Okay. Perfect. Uh, 
And this This side goes to the female USB. So to review what we've done, we got our positive and our negative to the battery terminal here. Here's positive, here's negative. And that wire just comes down. Uh, positive to the left arm and then negative to the center arm. Here's negative. So the positive and negative goes on the lead acid battery terminals. They meet negative in the center, positive on the left. This is 12 volts in. This is 5 volts out on the right. So now we've got 5 volts here coming out. And These are going to go into our USB. I think jumpers are the best way to do that. Let me see what happens if I try sticking a jumper in. Yeah, jumpers. Okay. So we got this jumper in the red. And we can just connect that to here. Uh, we'll just need a short little strip of it, actually. Oops. Okay. Uh... So yeah, here's the positive. We just gotta determine which one's positive, which one's negative. Let's see. Okay. So here's the five volts. This will go to this. There we have it. Now I might actually have to do this times two. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we just need the ground side to go to ground. So we'll need a black jumper for that.
Okay. So that's done. And I'll just go ahead and... Well, yeah, I should, I should uh, insulate these real quick. And it's like a real quick. Boom. 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 Okay. And there we have it. This USB then is live. <laughs> it's this one. <laughs> uh, as long as I didn't screw anything up, we're good. Alright, if I want to have one more USB like this, I'm going to have to do it now. I'm going to have to move fit quick. So let's do it then, real quick. Bust out one more. Heck with it. Uh... Hot diggity dog. Got our shielding wire and our shielding wrapper for data integrity, blocking any EMI in the area from corrupting. We're not dealing with data right now though. Interesting, this one's got string in it too. Fascinating stuff. Huh. Ah, wow. Another wrapped thing too. That is amazing. The intricacy is insane. Blue, yellow, huh. Fancy pants. This is green and white.
yellow and green it looks like. We're just interested in red and black. That's it. There we go, beautiful cut. Okay. Uh. Okay, uh, I'm just trying to think of any shortcuts I can. Don't know if we're going to get any. So, in that case, it'd just be up to one more. Uh... You know, I think I would like to decouple this thing. There we go. Not too bad. And I can take this out completely. Have these be separate. Okay. And I don't even need this thing at all anymore. Uh, cause he's good to go. Actually, these guys are better off extended, quite frankly.
Okay. So this is a nice long deal that gives uh direct connection to the battery here with positive and negative. Go through the five volt regulator and then just uh through to here at which point jumper wires connect it to these output pins to a USB wire thing that has pin out like this which goes to a little board which has USB and the pin outs come out here into the board and this board happens to have it. This is just a board from like a big screen TV or something that I just uh, you know because I've been scrapping parts so it just happened to work out for me. So I can plug into that with uh, my evaporative air conditioner evaporative air cooler and that'll have 1.5 amps at 5 volts which is exactly what the evaporative air cooler wants and that's all coming off a 12 volt lead acid deep cycle marine battery so there we go that's that's a finished conversion I'll just need to test it I guess so I'll set that aside that's one down now we're creating a second one complete this will be the USB bend those down and this is a normal USB isn't it? yeah I think so Okay. I think I'll just go ahead and tape off everything here. There we go. So now it's all simplified to just be the red and black. That's what we want. Okay, so now we work backwards from the battery like we did before, starting with labeling the terminals and cle cleaning them. These will need to be nice and long strips to actually wrap it on the battery.
Okay. And we'll go ahead and label that passive and minus. Okay, let me look at the other one for reference. Yeah, we split it all the way. Okay. Here are the minus. We're going to do the same thing as before. All right, we got our loop. Got our five volt linear regulator. Okay. Then we'll get this guy on board, like so. This is our positive, of course. Get him rigged up. And then uh, now comes our output.
Okay. What the crap? Okay. Bring up this one now. Okay. This one's ground. Let me go ahead and label it. Well, no, I don't think we need to. We might not need to. No, you just store stuff on the cloud, it won't ever go bad. Clouds have backup servers. Everything's redundant. One bad hard drive won't matter. The hard drive drives are mirrored and they're also located in different facilities all over the world. New backups being made all the time. Does not have to be physical. You can just email photos too if you want a, another way to back it up.
Alright, I think this one's done too, guys. So there we have it. Two 12 volt battery to USB converters. We good.